Hi guys, this is just going to be a quick haul of some bits and pieces that I picked up um, last week or so. Uh, some of them are repeat buys, some are just bits and pieces that took my fancy, so I thought why not. Um, first few things I'm going to show you I got from Poundland. Um, I showed this in my last makeup haul that I did um, and I love this stuff. I think this is going to be a video in itself. This um, Crichton's or Crichton's, whichever way you pronounce it, K Pro um, Keratin Pro Two Minutes Super Smooth Treatment. Um, I did actually haul one of these in my last haul, but I picked up two more because these are amazing. Um, if you like the Aussie Three Minute Miracle. Um, which I absolutely love. Don't get me wrong, I love the Aussie Three Minute Miracle. All the Aussie products I do love, but this um, makes my hair feel exactly the same, if not softer. Um, and I love it. You literally do just put it in, leave it on for a couple of minutes, and rinse it out. It's just amazing. Um, deeply nourish, deeply moisturises, and strengthens for silky smooth conditioned hair. Um, yeah, I love it. So I picked up a couple of them because obviously they're only a pound each. So that's that bit out of the way. Uh, Poundland again I also picked up some of these you get a pack of three for a pound I've got a giveaway coming up soon so hopefully we can have one of those in there this is Gold Rush and it's a uh, metallic cream and it's by collection metallic gold cream and it is really nice actually cream base there you go beautiful quite a brassy cream but it is a uh, gold but it's really nice um so i picked up those because you never know when you're going to need a cream base you can put a cream base under pretty much anything um so i picked those up then um i'm gonna stuck it in poundland uh i think that was it in poundland then i went to um oh no makeup hold on i've got some makeup gallery from Poundland. I picked up a couple of their stick concealers because I did try them sort of in store and they're really creamy. Um, so I've got number one is this? No, that's number two. She number one first. Number one is obviously ivory. Looks like this, just your normal stick clean, but it is so creamy. Really creamy, really quite pigmented. Um, I don't put this under my eyes because everything creases under my eyes. Um, and the next one is Natural Beige 2. And that's just your more sort of, I don't know, medium-ish tone. Um, but they are really creamy and they blend really easily and they're lovely. So I picked those up. Then I also picked up three more of the um, Makeup Gallery lip glosses because these are really, really nice. So the first one I got is Ballet Pink. And I can't remember if I got this one or not last time. But um, I will show you some swatchy swatches. This one's not the most pigmented, especially on my skin tone, but it's there. Um, so that's that one. I also picked up Power Pink, which I think is one of my favourites. So that's Power Pink. And I also picked up Pixie Pink. And this one's like your bright, bright future. That one's there, so I absolutely adore those. So I'll pick them up. Then I went to Pound World and picked up a couple of shower gels. They're both the same. I'm going to show you one. And a couple of little W7 makeup palettes. Yeah, eye palettes. So this I got from Pound World. And this is Dove. And it's a cream mousse. And it's a body wash. And it is literally so moussey. Oh, so moussey. Very very moisturising. Smells gorgeous, just like Dove. So I picked up a couple of those because you can never have enough body washes. Um, so that was from Poundland and I've got that all over my hand now and it won't come off. Um, boots. Oh no, I'll show you the eyeshadow palettes. Duh. So the eyeshadow palettes I picked up are this one and they're the um, W7 Celebrity Secrets quite nice and it just says four steps to perfect eyes and this is in Caribbean dream um, and I'll just show you what they look like 
So you've got your normal sort of creamy highlight. Then you've got your lid colour, which is really pretty. Then you've got like a um, creasy colour. And then, yeah, sort of, what am I thinking of? What's the fourth one? I don't know, under eye, I suppose. Um, and that's what they look like there. There's a cream. You can't really see the creamy colour one, but that's there. So I picked up that one, and I also picked up Sultry, which is a sort of, I don't know, yeah, more of a cool toned, I think. I love the lid colour on this one. So the lid colour on this one is just beautiful. It's like a pinky sort of lilac. Um, there's your brow colour. I've done it the wrong way around, but there's your brow colour, which is a more of a taupey sort of silvery colour. Same sort of colour crease. And your grey tone sort of under eye. Whatever, whichever you're going to use that bit for. Um, not as pigmented when they come out on the arm, but sort of there. So I picked them up. Um, I thought, why not? Um, picked up a couple more of these from Primark because they're the light ones and they're the ones I couldn't get last time. I love these. Amazing. Um, also in Primark I picked up some antibacterial wipes, which I'm going to use one of now to get rid of my swatches. But this is what they look like. Just antibacterial wipes. Really handy to keep in the car, handbag, whatever. Oh, and they're quite good at removing makeup off your arm, so that's good. Um, so I picked up those. They were only a pound for two. Um, like I said, handy in my job, so just keep them in the car. Um, then I picked up from Boots some Soap and Glory bits and pieces, just the sample ones. I wanted something that um, would protect my hands with my gloves. And I saw these in there and I thought it was quite interesting. And it's called Endless Glove. Um, two in one moisture mask and hand cream. So you basically put this on and it sort of like creates like a film on your hand, which is really nice. So I thought that'd be quite good for me to wear under my gloves. So these were like three for two, the little ones. These ones are three pounds each. And then I got my favorite hand cream, which is the hand food. Um, so yeah, basically all those three cost me six pounds. Um, and then I spotted, now I absolutely, and loads of people here on YouTube love this as well, the uh, Garn Garn bleh, I can't speak, the Garnier uh, Micellar Cleansing Water in the original pink. You know, it's brilliant, sensitive skin, it's amazing. I saw this one in Boots today and it intrigued me. Uh, this one is combination and sensitive and it's got the green lid. So there's the combination sensitive, removes makeup, purifies, mattifies, um, no rinsing, eyes, face, lips, no perfume. I can't wait to try this because I love the pink one. Um, it's just one of the best micellar waters I've used. They say it's one of the closest ones to Bioderma. Um, and so I'm going to try this one now. So I've got that one. That was 4 99 I think it's on special offer. Um, so that was that. Then, um, just a few makeup-y bits, really. I went into Superdrug, as I always have to do when I go shopping. Oh, no, these were from Primark. Just ugh, shoot me now. Oh, God. I'll tell you what, if I was a horse, I'd be glue. Because um, I'm just... My brain is... It's not functioning. Really not functioning. I picked these up in Primark when I picked up the foundation sticks. And these are Primark lip liners really soft so the first one i don't know if these have got colors no but this is just sort of your, your nudie color i'll do a swatch so creamy not too sharp that's quite a nice nib on it as well obviously you have to sharpen these ones which is oh no you don't do you oh i don't know i thought it was a wind up one but it's not the bottom turns but it doesn't wind up so I think you have to sharpen them. So that was that one. They're a pound. And then I got a red one. I think they only had two in there. And there's the red. Again, there's the tip. Nice and soft. So I picked those two up. Then I went to Superdrug. Um, and in my last haul, I showed the MUA Velvet Whipped 
lacquer lip lacquer things um they also had the whipped blushes in there which i didn't get last time but i thought i'd pick one up to show you guys this time and they're so nice i'm sort of wearing it you can't really see it now i've been out shopping all morning and it's faded this is what it looks like all right hang on i'll put the lid back on so you can see the whole thing this is what it looks like mua whipped velvet blush um and this is the Lux range and this this stuff it, it's i don't know if you can see but it's like a bit like play-doh actually and it, it is a whipped texture and that's what it looks like um so let me just that's what it looks like on the skin and then if you blend it out that was a really heavy swatch but that's what it looks like blended out they don't smell but oh, I just love the texture it's like really moussey and lovely so I picked that one up that one is in hedonic hedonic is that even a word I don't know so I picked that one up get rid of that swatch and that swatch and then I will show you the last four items that I picked up makeup wise and these are from Too True and they have brought out their version of glossy pencils and these are beautiful they are about seven colors seven or eight colors I picked up four four that appealed to me there was a coral in there which I might go back and get because it's a really nice peachy coral and it'll be really nice for the spring <coughs> so the nudie one that I picked up is called perfect pout and that's what it looks like they don't mind again the bottom turns but they don't mind um, you sharpen these so this is perfect pout and they are very glossy they're very similar to the um, Barry M glossy sticks actually so that's perfect pout which I nearly squashed because I put a lid on the wrong way around this is number two passion pout and it's a beautiful baby pink and it is beautiful as well almost lilac -y toned it's a blue tone pink i think um then i got number four pinky pout and this is your fuchsia pink i had this one on this morning it's beautiful so i picked up that very glossy you can see they're very glossy so they don't last on the lips that long and then the last one i picked up was posh pout and this is the red this is they had a more of a sort of pillar box red but this is strawberry red that I wanted and it is beautiful absolutely beautiful they like I said they don't last long on the lips but they've got a really nice scent it's not makeup -y scent it's almost a perfumey scent but not strong very very nice um and again they look beautiful on the lips um it possibly might stain for a little bit um yeah that red one stained a little bit already but yeah, that's it, makeup-wise. Now, the only other thing I picked up from Pound World this, this morning, actually, was this Easy Bun kit. Um, and I don't like the snap buns, you know, like the ones that snap and, like the bracelet snappers, I don't like them. Um, these came in a pack of two. You get a large one and a small one. And they look like hair rollers. And basically, you fold your hair up, I think. And then you roll, you fold your hair, you put your hair in a ponytail, then you roll this down and then you sort of turn it round and snap it. And I'm not sure this bit sort of then goes back over the hair to hold it so that it looks like that. And you get sort of shows you there roughly what you do so you put your hair in a ponytail you fold it then you roll it down and snap it together and then you get the band and you put it over the top so we're going to have a go with that at some point because <laughs> my hair's getting really long now as you can see um and i can put it in buns and stuff so that's the big one and that's the thinner one um so i can't wait to try them out i think they're gonna be really fun um, probably won't do it on camera because I look like a right idiot. But that is what I bought. Um, I think that's everything. Oh, I did go back and get another... 
what do you call it? Self tanning spray. And this one actually had a spray lid thing on it. So that's good. I mean, they're only three pounds. I didn't mind buying another one, but I picked one of those up and I'm going to try and self tan at some point. <laughs> then I also picked up one of these funky headgears for when you get out the shower or when you're doing your makeup or whatever. And this is quite a funky one. I like it. Look at that. <sighs> funky head towel. I might use this one in my Get Ready With Me videos, actually, because it's a bit more funky than the black ones, isn't it? So I picked those up. Um, and the only thing else I got from Primark that was on sale, I don't know why it's on sale, because they're Easter eggs, um, was these little mugs with a little Easter egg in the top. And these were reduced to 197 for some reason, or 195 So I've got a SpongeBob one for one of my daughters and a Monsters, Inc. one for the other one. Um... So yeah, that was it. That's my little haul. 16 minutes. Wow. About the smallest haul I've ever done. Um, so that's the little haul that I've done for you now. There's going to be lots of videos coming up soon. Um, I've got review videos coming up. I've got an empties videos coming up. Um, a star of the week should be around somewhere. Um, and yeah, if there's anything here that you've seen that you want me to talk about specifically, then just like comment in the box below. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe in this little box down here, I think it is. Um, and yeah, just have a lovely weekend. It's Friday today, so have a lovely weekend. And I will see you all again in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this, guys, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!